Radio. That was sensational. A draw? That simply won't do. A rematch then. Good match. Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid. Better than that. Akio! Akio! Your poor show against Natty and class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. I think I'll miss you. Really? I shan't miss you. Oh, stop. I'm trying to be serious for once. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It 
it's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? What ends up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while. Just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting De Pulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graphhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. entrance to the Hall of Harry. Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Revelio. I'm going to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Accio!
Incendio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellio. Revelio. 
I see. The switch reset everything. Good to know. That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana above. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Bins died one night to show. Next morning, as if nothing had happened. I don't think he even knows he's a ghost. They call it chemistry. Yes. Muggles have a lot of different work. My fizzing with brewing. These things take time.
Why did I never learn how to swim? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Cross Swans Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. What is it about the Mer people that interests you so much? <gasps> I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the Muggle world. The oldest known Mer people, Sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has Selkies and Ireland is home to Meros. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I'd perfect my mermish, of course, and I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. How has wizard kind fallen short in its treatment of mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the Ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you! The last thing I want is for them to think I'd shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Narada an artifact? Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Confringo! Lumos.
Naruto will be happy about this. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. And I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why did Mr and Mrs Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioneer. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. 
an ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our Herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any... competition. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula, create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's Neasel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. I'll get the Venomous Tentacula for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the Venomous Tentacula. Remember, I just need that Venomous Tentacula. Seems I need to find Mr. This must be it. This must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacular? Revelio. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me.
What could be? Stop! Stop, bandit! Find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio.
Revenio. Any luck retrieving a certain friend of mine from a... Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacula. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lordy's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. for you. Slippery little Expelliarmus. Never! Can't it's try that Expelliarmus. Careful now. Good Careful now. Isn't Nora Treadwell's guardian? Good Pulsar. Good Fringo. Rependo. Here, I wonder. Uh. 